Hey, this is my recruiting video that I'm going to send to all my friends about this um, this autopilot or open pilot thing from Kama AI. It seems weird that there's so little buzz about it, but it's basically a device that you hook up to your car and it makes it a self-driving car. Um, so just got it in the mail, just came here, um, and I'm pretty excited to get it unpacked. So this is the Kama 2, um, which I guess is newer than Kama 1 the box grab your phone to get started all right i'm gonna put on the instructions here and we'll figure out how to do it all right what else is in the box this is the unit very cool i guess this is some kind of a phone someone probably knows this they can explain it better than me i also have the uh this thing which is the separate uh harness pack i have a toyota Basically, I got the dev kit, comma two, and the harness. So it was about um, 1200 bucks all told. All right, so in the harness box, looks like we got the adhesive stuff. We got a data cable, this thing, which I guess plugs into the car, I guess. This is a USB cable, USB-C, I think, and this thing. So a mm, couple handy little alcohol prep wipes, smiling tips, and a giant novelty sticker comma. Or, yeah, I don't know. Commas go like this, like this. All right, now we're going out to the car to install this bad boy. Just got a new car, um, well, used car. It's a 2018 um, Toyota Highlander, the hybrid beauty right here. Um, Really nice little family wagon. I wanted to obviously get a Tesla um, because they're sweet, but uh, this was about a little over one fifth the price. So it's a great vehicle, good family rig here. You can see third row seat that we don't usually use, but now supposedly you get up in this thing somehow. I'm not sure how exactly. Video made it seem very easy. Oh, look at that. All right, so it does come off. If you push it down maybe. All right, something may have broken. This thing, that's okay. That seems okay. Looks like all the right stuff. Okay, so looks like you pull this thing out, you hook it up, plug it back in, and then somehow you gotta stash the rest of this stuff in here um, and then close it back up again. So I gotta see if I can do I think the first thing you do is you pull this thing out and you connect it to this thing. Okay, I got that. Then looks like you put this in here. All right, everything so far, very easy to do. You hook this guy into that guy, and this guy into that guy. Okay, phew, I got it back in. Let me tell you, I wish I would have videotaped me trying to get this thing in there because it is not easy. You definitely got to like play around with it you definitely gotta like jerry rig it so now i got it it's not super ideal how it's set in there i would say it's probably not like a by design but it is all in there i just started to run the data cable along the trim here i'm gonna route it through the door and now i got i guess that's the thing you plug it into so i got the cable coming out here this little connected thon this guy and plug it in there okay all right et voila what's in there a little bit of cable hanging down here it's probably not super kosher but uh i don't know if there's anything that can be done i'm gonna loop it behind this pedal actually well and the parking brake will hit it probably could have done with another two inches of cable so i could have tucked it up but um that is what it is. I'll put a little zip tie maybe up to here or something. Anyways, now I've uh, attached it, got the power back here, whacked it on the uh, on the windshield here and we're in setup mode. All right, now it appears, I, I connected it to my Wi-Fi, accessible here in the driveway, and now it is downloading and installing, uh, I guess, something. Okay, I've got I had a couple little issues, but I'm good. Now it's just saying drive fashion 15 calibrate, so I gotta get out onto a real road here in a second. Okay, it's the day after Christmas. We 
got the device in, we're on the highway for the first time, and the car is performing extremely well. What do you think? It's all right. Children have no idea. Lane keeping is very solid. It definitely was a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but it's very, works very well. And I can't believe this is a thing. We're not gonna die. I don't think we're gonna die. It's like, no. And like switching lanes is easy. Put on the blinker, give it a little tap, it does it for you, recenters. And uh, it's awesome. It works. This car drives itself. 2018 used Toyota Highlander hybrid drives itself for 1200 bucks. That's unbelievable. I didn't think that that was a thing. Ready, you have ample opportunity to give snacks to your children. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Which is good because we have a three hour drive ahead of us and any less pressure on that drive is greatly appreciated. Anyway, so I don't know. Fully endorse.